What's up guys, we're here in Puerto Escondido and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do in and around the area. It's really beautiful here, it's a massive ocean, lots of surfing and it's got a really relaxed vibe. And uh, yeah, you can release little baby sea turtles, you can go to the beach and lots of other stuff, so enjoy this video. We are Zach and Ina, full-time digital nomads from the United States and Belgium. We met while studying abroad in 2018 and have been traveling the world together ever since. We're here to inspire your next adventure, whether it's hiking in the Canadian Rockies, a road trip through the US, or backpacking across Africa. On our channel, you'll find unfiltered videos of hiking guides and the best things to do in destinations around the world. Puerto Escondido is a laid-back beach town located along the west coast in the state of Oaxaca. It's one of the most popular beach destinations along the Oaxacan coast, attracting mostly surfers and backpackers. Once you set foot in Puerto Escondido, you'll fall madly in love with the beaches, authentic food, and relaxed vibes. In this video, we highlight six things that you cannot miss in Puerto Escondido. Spend at least three to five days in the area to be able to fit them all in. At number six, we have the beach hike from Playa Principal to Playa Manzanillo. To our surprise, this is not a very popular activity in Puerto Escondido. However, it's something you have to do when you're looking for tranquility and some exercise after spending most of your time relaxing at the beaches. The walkway sits right next to the water and starts from the western end of Playa Principal. It has a few scenic overlooks and you can spot many birds and crabs along the way. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to get to Playa Manzanillo where you can refresh in the calm waters or have a drink. So we're halfway through our walk and it seems that the bridge has been taken out. So there's a little path you can just go more down towards the rocks and then you can just follow that, but it's not exactly laid out anymore. The state of Oaxaca in general is known for its delicious cuisine, with ingredients such as chocolate, Oaxaca cheese, mezcal, grasshoppers and mole sauce, there's so many unique dishes that you have to try. As Puerto Escondido is a beach destination, you can also find great seafood options here. Go to a beachfront restaurant at Playa Zicatela, or find a local taqueria and order some tasty fish tacos. You won't be disappointed. Only a short 20 minute drive from Puerto Escondido sits Manialtepec Lagoon. This beautiful lake is a sanctuary for birds and also home to bioluminescent plankton. It's a peaceful and quiet place that is best explored by boat tour or by kayak. We decided to rent kayaks during the day so we could paddle through the mangroves and enjoy the wildlife at our own pace. If you haven't experienced plankton before, we definitely recommend going on a tour there during the evening. Book your tour via the link in the description below. So we're kayaking on Laguna Manialtepec and on the internet we actually found a lot of pictures where it looked very pink but it's not at all the case, it's actually blue but it's still really cool to come down and just relax and like rent a kayak or do a boat tour. Another great thing to do when you're in Puerto Escondido is to visit the nearby sleepy town of Mazunte. To get there, you can take a local bus from Puerto Escondido. Flag down the bus to Pachutla and hop on until you reach San Antonio. From there, you'll have to take a taxi or a local colectivo. Known for its small beach bays, hippie vibes, and sweeping vistas of the Pacific Ocean, Mazunte has a certain charm to it. It's a lot smaller than Puerto Escondido, and most of the roads are unpaved. There's also a real sense of community here, even if most people are just passing through. We're walking now at Punta Cometa, which is right above the Mazunte Beach. And we'll put a map of this route on the screen for you too, so you know where to find it. But it's an ecological reserve. It's really beautiful, lots of waves and cool landscapes and birds. So yeah, we're hoping we catch a good sunset here.
Incredible surf conditions are what put Puerto Escondido on the map. It's known as one of the top surf destinations in the entire world, with the biggest waves coming between April and October at the northern end of Playa Zicatela. But if you're not an advanced surfer, you can surf the gentler waves at Playa Carazalillo or La Punta. And of course, you don't have to have an interest in surfing to enjoy the beaches in Puerto Escondida. There are eight beautiful beaches that are waiting to be explored. Our favorite ones include the crescent-shaped beach of Carazalillo, the large Playa Bacocho, and the Bohemian La Punta. Our favorite thing to do in Puerto Escondido, and maybe even all of Mexico, was to release a baby turtle into the wild. Turtle conservation is a big issue here, and volunteers monitor more than 30 kilometers of beaches all around Puerto Escondido to ensure the turtle eggs don't get stolen by local people who eat them. They also have several turtle egg hatcheries to help them shade the eggs from the sun, which is an important part of the conservation. Every day at Playa Bacocho, baby turtles are released into the ocean. You can pay 100 pesos, or $5, to partake in the release at 5 p.m. You also learn about the turtles and the project. The money you pay goes directly towards the project, which is a great initiative if you ask us. My name is Adrian and I have been here in Vivamar for around just five years. Nature, just 1% of the turtles were survived here with the conservation and with the activity. You know, this percent increased in around 15 or 16%. So we have been doing this activity for around just 10 years and that's how we can do it every single day of the year. As we were only in Puerto Escondido for four days, we didn't have enough time to do all the activities this magical town has to offer. If you're visiting between December and March, you can spot humpback whales in the wild. You can even go on a dolphin watching tour, which runs year round. Go scuba diving, party at the beach clubs at Playa Zicatela, and try skydiving. There's so much to do in Puerto. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you on the next adventure.